Book Booker T's back in this joint, man. So I mean, it's you know, turning into the instead of Hulk Hogan, this is the Booker T show. Uh oh, yeah, so, <laughs> the clanging and banging, the spinning Rudy in. <laughs> so Booker T made a comment about Biggie and his singles run, and but Booker T made the comment that. Biggie needs to change. Now, if anybody's seen SmackDown this past Friday, Biggie had his first singles match. First of all, I don't like how Corey Graves and Michael Cole was acting like this is Biggie's first singles match ever. And I was just like, he's not in a tag team. He he can't tag. Yeah, he said he he can't tag out. And you know, said he's gonna try to try to find his first singles goal. I'm like, we not gonna front like Biggie was not the NXT champion. We not gonna front. Well, you know they they. You, you gotta forget, remember? What the NXT stuff? No, you gotta forget that he was ever a singles guy. You, you know, you gotta forget. You gotta forget Kofi was Jamaican. You yeah. gotta forget Xavier Woods was with uh, Tyrus. I mean, uh, Rose Clay. You gotta forget all that. Yeah. I didn't want you to. Help. I mean, you're right. It's just like, oh my god! I'm like, this man was a whole Intercontinental Champion. So okay, back when the belt was white. So you know. um Fine, but anyway, so he says that he needs to change. Now, when he can't have the match with the Miz, Big E does take time like to roll down the ramp. I thought it was funny, but however, when people make these kind of things like that, I'm like, okay, I, I uh, kind of see what you're talking about here. So he made a comment. So then Xavier Woods uh, tweeted back to Booker T and said that, hey, you know, we've been doing this. You know, uh, for this long without anybody telling us how to do it and anything like that. So, uh, kind of like his little his little rebuttal. I'm just saying stuff off the top of my head. I don't have verbatim of what he said. But, however, in this comment, I actually, uh, uh, unlike how kind of tone deaf Booker T came off last time, talking about Naomi last week, this time, and he, he got a point. Yeah, I mean, uh, I understand too what he meant. I I don't know if I'm just trying to understanding and I try to understand first before I re- rebuttal because most people they just be just straight out to say no you're wrong and you suck and so out the, out the gate. Yeah, I mean like so, it, that, that that's the we are at that point in the country now where, where, where people say have these kind of conversations. Well, that's the point. You got to sit down and go in with a clear head and try to have these conversations and. Sometimes you said just jumping all over the person. You got to actually sit back and see what he's talking about. And I mean, like now, I don't think he's saying anything, you know, bad against Big E. But there are some things that like, if Big E wants to become a like world champion, like Kofi was, which he has that potential to be that. But you know, the uh, some of the New Day stuff has to go. Yeah, you don't have to bring up the New Day. But some of the New Day stuff has to go. And it's kind of like when Kofi was WWE Champion. And I'm like, I don't want to see Kofi toss pancakes into the audience as champion. Especially after he got like his ass beat by Randy Orton. Or, you know what I'm saying, or he got his ass beat by Samoa Joe. Like, when when, when it's time to be serious and to go after the championship, you, you can't be somebody who's the New Day and just become champion. I mean, there has to be a demeanor. And Big E had that demeanor when he had that five count. Everything going on with NXT. And I felt as though that hit Booker T saying something like that. I mean, that, that, that's something that could really benefit Big E. And I'm like, okay, he had a serious part in that matchup. But I don't need him doing the whole abdominal stretch, slapping men's asses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As trying to be or world champion. Yeah, exactly. Or you know, as he about to do the big splash, you know, gyrate and stuff like that. That's part of the that's a part of the new day gimmick. I get that, but the thing is, you you to, to step up to step up step up to that next level. You know, what I'm saying. Uh, oh, you saying it kind of don't seem like he's like not serious, but like don't give him an edge, like a mean street edge when he does that. Yeah, like I mean, there has to be some kind of serious contention to like there has to be some consequences to you know like okay, for example, if I'm booking Biggie as a singles guy now, right? Mm-hmm. 
Is it funny to see him roll down the stage? Sure, as the New Day. But there's no Kofi. There's no Woods, okay? And even when they were... I, I like them doing that kind of stuff when they were heels, okay? Uh, now, when it comes to face stuff for, from New Day, this, this is the thing I'm talking about. You shouldn't... First of all, you should be upset because, one... We lost the tag team championships, and your partner went through two tables. Two tables. Okay, so basically, you could not help them keep up the win the, the tag team championships. You should already have a chip on your shoulder. And I understand, I you know. Mean, actually, well, actually, I got a rebuttal for that. Okay. He was mad, <laughs> and then Kobe was like, "Ah, oh, don't worry about it." Okay, yeah, well, that's cool. Like, no, we, we gotta get them titles back. Kofi's like, don't worry about it. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, so that's what they can say for Yeah, fair enough. That's what Kofi did say that. Fair enough. And then, then after that, it's just like, okay, well, he said, yo, go be a single star. I would book him to the point where it's like, okay, I'm coming out here and I, I'm going, I, I'm going, you know, try, try to do my best as, as, a, as a single star, but have, have a, have a goal. Say like, yo, man, I want AJ Styles. I, I, I want to see like AJ Styles. Versus Big E at SummerSlam. You know, actually, if, I, if I'm being honest, I want to have Big E lose and learn from his losses. Maybe that's just me. Because, like, they build a character the same way every single time. Just have a win, 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 win. I think, just for Big E, because he's a part of a tag team, he's coming out of a tag team, I think they should have him lose because he does, he overdoes moves, or he does the moves that he knows that Kofi he can tag out easy, like I, you know, for, I agree with that. Yeah, he'll go for like the shoulder tackle, and then they'll miss, like they'll miss, and he get the turnbuckle, and he get rolled up or something, and then he'll learn next week. He don't go for the shoulder tackle, you know, like he'll learn every week. That's what something I would, I would like him to do. Now, so he learns like not relearns to be a single star, but learns like you know, like it's not gonna be tagging in and out. I don't know. I don't know if I want to explain it this way. No, uh, or the, uh, the only thing is um, that that is great storytelling for the, for the long term. I first of all, like I said, I don't know how long Kofi won't be out because it, it it was said by the, the WWE that they were giving super some superstars time to be with their family with the Rona, and yeah. Kofi was one of the elect that I'm gonna go be home with the, with uh with my family. So they did the injury angle. He's not really injured, so. Six weeks is about. <laughs> you really just had to explain it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, was, I, I really didn't have to. I'm just saying, but yeah. Uh, He's not ready to <laughs> And I, I'm just like, okay, well, fine. So six weeks, six, eight, six, maybe even eight weeks. I'm like, okay, I don't know what kind of push people think that he gonna probably get in six weeks because I even COVID may be out there longer than that. But it's like I don't want him to get like a little mini push. And then all of a sudden, when Kofi come back, because Kofi will, will be back before Xavier Woods will be, to the point where it's just like, hey, let's go back to this being the new day. No, give him this, give him this run, and like you said, him losing. I thought he was gonna lose to the Miz. I thought he was gonna lose to the Miz because that that way you can have somebody trigger something out him by this. Yo, dude, you're not in the new day no more. The new day is not here right now. You gotta take this thing seriously. And plus, the Miz was just literally fighting for the title last month. Yeah. Like, you got to take this thing seriously. Like, m make it so that the the uh, the big ending's not working. You take two to three weeks of him trying to put somebody away with the big ending, and it don't work. Because it's not the midnight hour. It's not the up, up, down, down. So, it's like, okay, let me try the stretch muffler. Give me a... a, a, a a crazy looking submission because that's what is is isn't that what the uh Brock Lock used to be? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That submission looks awesome as hell to me. Especially if you do it right the way Big E was doing it was cool. And I'm like, okay, but we did nothing to work up to that submission move. That, that's just one thing I one thing that they could do when they when they have somebody that's in a team though. Mm -hmm. That's like you know, Biggie, of course, had the big ending. He had a career before, but now he's been in the team five years, over five years. So I think that should just have him learn, not learn again, but, you know, like, get those intangibles back up 
being on his own. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ha- had that kind of good storytelling because he now, if you keep giving oh, him. I forgot. I'm sorry. Yep, there's that word again. Yep, there's that word again. Might as well start recording all over again. Yeah, so, <clears throat> no, but still, I'm just like, look, if that's the case, I'm like, man, y'all, y'all can have him lose, build up to it, and it'll be, it'll be a, a, a better, a, a better story. And especially when it comes to like winning any kind of champion, that he can still be a singles guy, and then you can have Kofi. And Xavier do the tag team thing, just like uh, Xavier and Big E did the tag team thing when Kofi was a champion. You can you can do that, and I'm like, okay, and there's just nothing wrong with rotating. And then Woods can have his shot at now. Now Woods ain't to me is not going anything past Intercontinental Champion, you know. But, yeah, I don't see him. He could be a good uh, U.S. Champion. I can see him being a good U.S. Yeah. Champion, but that's all he's going. He's not. Going to, I think Big E can get it because of his charisma and his face and his, his body size. Kofi can get it because of his charisma, his moves, and all that. Uh, I don't nothing against Xavier Woods. I just he can be the most talented person. I still don't see them pushing him that far, especially with the height. They don't like you know. He's like five. Yeah, five, I mean he so, he he's he's yeah. a good. Uh, Example of the of like Kofi and Biggie combined with with the power and, and speed, but uh, mm-hmm. he's he, he he's the average guy. So I I see I see him make hard at best, but you know I don't see you know like a world champion in his future. But and however, not, that, is, that is not a downgrade or anything. That's, that's still a good thing. Make it's, 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 still, it's, it's, it's still a great thing. It's just like it, some it, people can't even get on the show, or some people when they get on the show, it's like two minute matches. So. He's, he's, he got he got a lot of potential. Yeah, it's it, it, exactly. So so that that that's what <clears throat> that's why I think you know it's best that it, it'll probably be at. But yes, I I I don't I do agree with what Booker T's saying. Like you know you don't have to you, you you're not part of New Day, but you don't have to have the same New Day entrance. You don't have to have the same New Day answers. You don't have to be that damn silly all the time. And it's just like, well, just Big E from the New Days doing a run. Like, you can bring back Big E Langston. He don't have to be Big E Langston, obviously. But like I said, you can bring back the hand powder. You can bring back the five count. You can bring back something that makes him look very aggressive instead of him. Like, I don't need him winning any kind of championship and licking it. You know what I'm saying? I don't need that. Like, be serious for a minute. Same thing with Kofi. There's the certain things. Like, there were certain moments in his championship run. I'm just like... This requires you to be pissed off, and a lot of people were by, by the tail end of his championship run were kind of over it. They were over the Kofi Mania thing. They, they were over that thing because I, there were some things I was like, okay, you, you're not taking this shit seriously at all, and you you're not mad about when, when certain things happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's there, there's some things in the few of Randy Orton that he should have been pissed off about. There should have been some things after he lost to Brock and they said he should have been pissed off about. He was like, huh, I didn't lose it in eight seconds. I, I lost it in six, you dummy. I was like, what? I, I, and I was like, I got to go back and watch the tape. What you got to watch? You got F5 the end. That's a self, that's, that's a gift. You know what I'm saying? It was an yeah, you don't need to watch no tape. I'm just like, so then when it's like he just said, but they booked him not to care. I was like, how do you get behind somebody who don't care? When Stone Cold lost the belt, all Stone Cold wanted back was his belt. Y- yes or no? And once again, that, when, hey, that's all he wanted. Though. Like, he tried every week to get that belt back. Is, that's add to there. Now, if you talk about oh, something. Yeah. Let's go ruthless aggression. When Cena lost his belt, Cena wanted his belt back. Now you you may put the argument, well, WWE doesn't do automatic rematches anymore. Even if they don't do automatic rematches, there's still opportunities for guys to get championships. And the thing, and, and championship opportunities, they they may have a small battle royal, they may have a tournament. You you should be the first one to be like, I'm going to enter that tournament because I want my belt back. I may not get an automatic rematch, but if I got an opportunity, why not take the opportunity to get your belt back? Yeah, that's true. That, I think 
when they did it with Stone Cold Duck and he was trying to get his belt back, I think the only the only reason he like wasn't worried about the belt is if somebody attacked him from behind. Now his his uh thing is from beating this person up after he beat this person up, then he goes for the belt again. So is it, I, I, yeah, I mean Stone Cold got sidetracked, but he always came back to the goal. It, yeah, it, but his sidetracks weren't that he just wasn't focused on the belt. It was because somebody did something to him and he wants to get them back. Exactly. And he gets them back. He's back on the but, but, but that's how a lot of people were built back in the day. And I ain't just talking about attitude. Even in, in Rufus Aggression and stuff like that, that's how... Remember, the, we had the whole silly 2006 DX thing, right? Mm-hmm. And then Triple H got injured. So Sean was just like, my time to shine. I took Cena... I, I took Cena to an hour match on Raw. Cena's not a better wrestler than I am. Sean wanted the belt. What happened? He lost at WrestleMania, and he like, nah, you got lucky. He, he coming back. He kept wanting to keep winning that belt. Like, it, it wasn't... Or the same thing with The Undertaker feud from 2009-2010. The whole thing was just like, look, even I'm doing this little DX crap, but I'm just... But let me let you know something. I came this close to beating you. I want that match. And for, like, months, Shawn Michaels... Went after the Undertaker in any kind of way he could to make sure he had that match. That right there is like, and that was the PG era. That was the PG era. So why is it that Kofi loses his championship and he don't care? So if Big E is playing around and being stupid, how how's he gonna you know how are you gonna have people take him seriously going up against AJ Styles? For, for, for like the the Intercontinental Championship and if he wins the Intercontinental Championship and it's just like if he loses and, do, and doesn't care like you you should care about that Kofi never went back to getting the WWE Championship again he even attempted other than being because you know why he's in the world I'm going to get the world I'm a spot but other than that he did nothing to he didn't enter into no tournaments he did no no money in the banks he did nothing to say I want my belt back still like is that and so I I you got to take a different approach with Big E. Yeah, 